Okay, so I just thought I'd take a second to show you how the uh, how these hardened indexers work. Um, so I've already done the other half of the pattern. So what I'm looking for here, there's the spline I'm trying to recreate. So I'm looking at north and south, and then splitting the distance into two. Well, it's three, depending on how you look at it. So I need to cut the, this valley, that valley, so these two splines, and then two more. So now, fortunately, uh, this plate that's in here allows me to do that. So now I've done everything done the other side. So here's the north position, right buried up into there. I don't know if you can see that or not. So when you back out, there's these grub screws, and when you back out the grub screw, that's a, an indexing position for the locking pin. So now, the way this is sitting right now, I've got north and south is good, but now I've got three points in between, which isn't what I want. I want two points in between. So now, if you count them out, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So now, what basically what I'm doing is, is I need, so I've got north, count three, one, two, three, so I could screw this one in, because the three represents my spacing in between my splines. And then the fourth, I back out. If I didn't get it too tight in there, but I put it back together. back that all the way out and there's a collar it prevents me from going too far so then I gotta count so that's one two three in and then one out so one two oh, I put that one in so you now I don't know if you can see that or not as I'm turning this in I'm pushing out that locking pin because that's the one it's sitting in at the present time so anyways, so we're back to one, two, three. This one's got to come out. Back out lightly against that collar. So starting up from the top, north, one, two, three, in, one out. One, two, three, in, one out. This one's got to go in. One, two, three, in, and then south. So double check. North, one, two, three, in, or sorry, from north, which is out. One, two, three, in, then out. One, two, three, in, and then out. And one, two, three, in, and then south. So that actually matters, matches that pattern. So I've got one in, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, south. So there's my pattern. So now, when it comes time to actually use this thing, I crank it up and it locks into position. And then when I'm done the process, I pull the pin out, just get it off axis a little bit, and then the pin's spring loaded. But it won't lock in until it gets to the next spot. Here it comes. Boom. I do I repeat my steps for my spline, pull that out, get her off axis. Boom. Next one. So that gives me a surefire way to accurately index, and the bonus here is, is I can get back to where I need to be. So I can cut both sides of this, take a measurement, and if this isn't what I need it to be, I can get back to the spot accurately and just go take a few more passes, open it up just a little bit more. So there you go. I just thought I'd show you that quick.